Yeah, on the SD WAN side, um, um, we see a lot of kind of ops AI um, now getting involved in the overlay on SD WAN and controlling different applications. Uh, and I think that's going to be a huge benefit as we can start to identify all these different type of quote unquote AI applications, whether that be a gen AI or a agentic AI. Um, and I think um, th that also I see a lot on the network side with uh, with Starlink uh, and, and Leo. Uh, and I think SD-WAN providers are starting to actually uh, Take, take in that information and say, oh, we have another um, another access method that is really gaining traction and let's figure out how to best protect that and provide the customer experience that we do over the regular wired network or the fixed wireless access network. So I think that that's, that's going to be a place in 2025 that I think you'll see a lot of vendors come out. I think you'll see vendors come out with that very early in 2025 as well. So at Mattel here, uh, we provide Starlink services. We're, we're, we're a reseller for Starlink, both on the commercial and federal side. I think we're the only one that still holds that uh, on both sides of the house. Uh, and we, we deploy that with our SD-WAN. Um, and, you know, we started that uh, a few years ago and it's been ramping up. And it used to be uh, we would deploy it only where it was a remote area and we couldn't get any other uh, type of bandwidth or access or connection. Um, but it's quickly becoming uh, a primary choice for many of our customers. Uh, and think of it in a you know retail space where you have you're building a new I don't know gas station mart type of place, uh, and you have to get your certificate of occupancy and you got to get that store up. Uh, yet all the terrestrial and fixed wireless access is really not ready yet, or you know the conduit's not ready yet to get uh, everything you need. Um, delivered to the location, uh, one Starlink and one SD-WAN, um, you know, router, and I can put a customer on the network in a day, uh, and they're on their, their private network. So it's really powerful. I think on the security front, uh, I think it's going to be a year of, you know, let's encrypt everything. Everything's got to be encrypted, um, you know, from from the uh, you know the, the the latest news with the FBI and NSA telling everyone to actually encrypt text messages between you know Android and iPhone or iOS um, down to you know quantum inspired uh, algorithms that are out there now um, that just either provide more secure encryption or on the opposite side of the house. Um, are easier to hack the encryption we have today. So I think there's a lot of uh, work actually on the good guy side and the bad guy side that's going to happen in 2025 uh, in, in, in that respect. Um, and I think, you know, we've been talking about, uh, I've been talking about distributed applications and edge, private data center, cloud. I think from a security standpoint and an encryption standpoint, we're opening up the attack service, you know, to a huge, uh, a huge realm, like uh, it, it's expanding so much for just data. Um, so I think that encryption becomes more and more important. Um, and I also think I'm a big uh, proponent of the blockchain. Uh, and I do think that, you know, if you think about um, where most of our, uh, most of the biggest breaches come from and where the bad guys take information from, it's always like one system that they hacked and they get all this information about customers or users or uh, you know, credit card information attached to a user, whatever it may be. Um, I do think that decentralized identity management is really gonna start to come to the forefront uh, in 2025. I think that's one of those places where that distributed type of, uh, doesn't, I don't need to call it blockchain because that probably gets so uh, tied into cryptos, but you know, it's decentralized authentication with multiple different um, authenticators on a network. So it's much more difficult to actually hack. I, th I think we'll see some of that in 2025. Um, and I'm really excited about it.